first full-fledged appliance store was on Grand Avenue in Waukegan, Illinois. So that's why it's called Grand Appliance today. My father, after he was in World War II, he went to work for my grandpa in 1947. He took the business over in the early 50s. They just ran a single store outlet for all those years. But I joined them in 1979. We still had the one store, and then we opened our second store in Kenosha, Wisconsin in 92. I got the fourth generation here. Like Aaron runs the sales side of my business, and my son-in-law, Ani, she runs the operation side of our business and then my daughter she has the fun job of being the HR director. Now I have the good job of just being the boss. They were very instrumental in helping me branch out. We had like six stores when the recession hit and we continued to grow. We went into markets where other people hadn't been successful because we were unified under a single distribution model. We could make those stores work. We have true appliance trained professionals. We don't have people that are cross trained and and selling paint and nails and lumber. And my message to all my retail salespeople is to have customers for a lifetime, not just a one-time deal, but so, so that they come back and they feel like they have a home to come shop at. You achieve that by the experience at the store through the value of what you provide, the delivery, the installation, and the service of those products, and that we care that their experience in their home is right. Yeah, and our guys carry the sale all the way through. If, if there's anything that happens with the product, they always have somebody to call. They have an appliance guy. You wanna go buy a car, you wanna go buy a, a couch or something, you always go, oh, go over there, I got a guy over there. You know, that's my guy. So that's, our goal is to be your guy. I mean, our employees are the lifeblood of our company. We started out, it was a very, very small group of people. It was me and my dad, and a couple of drivers, and. A, a couple of sales guys with me. For years it was that way, but as we've grown, the family has gotten bigger and bigger and bigger. But we've tried to really keep that family atmosphere and that family commitment to each other. Now we have over 300 employees. We really do care about them and, and their families. We're getting into the next generation with a lot of families now, so that's sort of cool. The parents have worked for me and now their kids are coming to work for me. You know, we have sales meetings all the time. What I really try and portray as the sales meetings is the importance of what we do together. Not just the big shot or the guy that sweeps the floor. I mean, it's everybody. It's all part of the grand family and we want everybody to feel like they're part of the grand family. Because of your efforts, our family and our company has been able to thrive. And our goal is that we continue to keep it thrive so you can thrive with your family. Customers are the most important thing to us. The first thing you have to do for your customers is give them a great place to shop and that their shopping experience is fun. We want them to feel like they're getting a good deal because they are getting a good deal at Grand. We're very, very competitive every day because we've got to the point with the volume that we're doing that we have the ability to acquire those goods at the right price so that we can still be profitable and give those customers what they want. So the whole game in the appliance business has changed competitively because of the internet. Some companies couldn't adjust to that. At Grand, we embrace that and hopefully drive customers to our showrooms by having good website identification. Clicks to bricks. That has helped us grow where other guys didn't put forth those same efforts. Through our website and our providers, we can tell the story to get the people in. I think that other people will disappear from the marketplace. Our model is much more successful than a lot of the big box models. We've got stuff for $199, we got stuff for $15,000. Being able to have that full gamut and show everybody what you have, they don't feel like they're missing anything. So when they come to your store, they don't have to question, well, I wonder if there's something else out there that I want. As these other guys disappear from the market, there's all kinds of additional opportunity with the customers that are out there. Unless they can start beaming them in, we're still in the game, you know, because they have to be handled by humans and I think we can provide those services and makes us relevant. It's all about the total experience. We're going to deliver it, we're going to service it, we're going to take care of it. They do third party with everything. The reality is after they sell it, they sort of hand it off and hope that it works. We don't do that. We're there for the customer from the beginning to the end.